Carl. Thank you very much for that, Tracy. Let's cross back now to the Mater Hospital where Georgie and Lisa are having live mammograms this morning. Uh, hey, Lisa. Hey, Carl. Well, I am all done. Um, Georgie is in there right now. She's uh, just about to start. I've had four x-rays, Marin, yep. Dr. Marin, McKessa. Um, the first two on the right breast, I, I was sort of surprised. Didn't hurt as much as I was expecting. And the second one on my left was a little bit more painful, but ultimately, I feel an incredible relief that I've now done what I've needed to do for more than 12 months now. How many women are like me and just put it off? I'd have to say you are in the majority of women, all of us, me included, put things off yeah. and um, it's really common to put this off and, and the number of women I have here saying, look, I'm sorry, I haven't come for so long. You know, it's easy to put it on the back burner, but look, it's so important just to have regular checks. Yeah. And women are particularly good at putting everybody yes, else in the family so first. Mm -hmm. And with every good intention, mm -hmm. you just, no, 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 I've just got to organise that sport uniform or I've just got to sew the name tags on the, on, the, on the socks or I've just got to go and do a quick shop because the kids are going to camp tomorrow or looking after our jobs or whatever it is. We, we do that all the time, but this is so simple and women are encouraged to do it partly because, you know, it's free over the age of 40. Every two years, every That's woman right. in this country yeah. is eligible for this. That's right. So if you don't have any lumps that are concerning you, absolutely please contract contact breast screen if you have a lump see your doctor don't delay we know that if we find breast cancers when they're sm very small the treatment is easy and yeah. it makes a big big difference don't leave it till you know you've got a lump that's harder to, for us to manage the fact is there are seven people who still die from breast cancer in this country every single day but the wonderful thing is all of the, um, the work that we've seen over the last 15 or so years with National Breast Cancer Foundation, all of the breast cancer charities that are out there, the money has gone towards research yeah. that has meant those figures have come down dramatically. Yep. And this is all about early detection, isn't it? Yep, absolutely. That's right. I just can't reiterate how important it is to get onto it onto anything early and just keep regular checks. Yeah. This is Georgie's first mammogram. Um, she, she has said that, you know, she sort of hadn't got to that point where she was thinking, oh, that's something that I've got to do on a regular basis. But talk to us about mammograms prior to the age of 40. Are they recommended or not? Look, in most women under 40, um, it is... In women under 40, breast density is greater and it's harder for us to get good information through very dense breast tissue in young women. In young women with breast symptoms, we would often start with an ultrasound and we would then do a mammogram if we needed to. Certainly over the age of 40, anyone with breast symptoms or a, a mammogram is very useful. Under 40, we would normally start with an ultrasound um, and that's because the, um, it's the best test in those women. And in terms of in advancements in in, in treatment what let's for argument's sake I'm going to play devil's advocate on myself here if you were to find something today where would we go from there okay so if we found a lump in you the first thing would be that we would um, work out what it is and that would normally involve we would do a needle biopsy which is a really simple test the pathologist would tell us what that might be and if it was a cancer we'd say okay well you need to have treatment for that and we you would be referred to a breast surgeon breast, that breast surgeon will be um, associated now with a big group of breast professionals and they're called multidisciplinary teams that your management will be very tailored to exactly what your breast lump is what your breasts are like your age um, all that information so that um, any sort of treatment now is very tailored to exactly what sort of breast cancer you have. Because the sorts of research that's been done, mm. you've been able to work out what works, what doesn't, and, and what works with particular yeah. types of breast cancer. Yeah, there's no one treatment fits all anymore. Um, and it, it's, as I say, it's very tailored. We know that um, Angelina Jolie having the preventative double mastect mastectomy that she did because she has the gene mm. that her mother carried and her mother died of ovarian cancer because we know that gene 
um, can mean similar things for um, ovarian and breast cancer. Have you found, like the beautiful woman that Georgie and I met at the, at the lift coming in here today, who said that she'd had preventative mastectomy last week, um, are you finding that, that a lot more women are taking that step of being proactive? Yes, I think, I think that's true and I think it's been really good that there's been a lot of discussion about preventive measures and again I think it would be re it's really important to discuss with your doctor, there are many ways to assess exactly what your risk of breast cancer is, there are high risk clinics and all the options will be would be discussed with any woman and they can make then an, a really informed decision about what they want to do to reduce their risk and that may uh, be a double mastectomy or it may not be a double mastectomy you know and and if women are feeling you know I don't want to lose my breasts reconstructive surgery is always an option yeah, absolutely um, there are amazing results now with reconstructive surgeries many different sorts of reconstructive surgery and again all those things um, oh, yeah. I know you <laughs> Sorry to interrupt. Yeah, right. Just that it? beautiful look of relief on Georgie's face. <laughs> we have to see that. <laughs> My bosoms haven't had that much attention since <laughs> breastfeeding days. <laughs> Unbelievable. But, um, wow. Feel okay? Yeah, yeah. Look, it, there's a bit of discomfort. It's not the, it's, you know, it's not fun. But yeah. um, I am someone who loves to have information. So yeah. now that information mm -hmm. is, is out there and it can be assessed. Mm. And obviously if there's anything sinister, we can get onto it. And, and in a situation like this, Merrin, it's all about knowledge is power. Mm. It's everything, because mm. that means you can go forward with the information that you need, as you say, Georgie, to, mm. um, to deal with whatever comes from all of this. Mm. So how long will it be before we get our results? Look, this being a diagnostic setting, we will sit down and look at your films. We may if we want any further information, we may ask you to have some more images. Um, and it depends on where you go um, as to how long those results take. All I would say is that, um, and, and often if you need to have anything further done, it may require sort of for you to come back for okay. that. Um, and at breast screen, what happens with women is they will have a screening mammogram and that's done at sort of the thousands of sites over the country. Okay. Those films are then read by expert radiologists and they will be invited back to a clinic. Okay. So most of the time, if you need extra tests, you will come back for All right. a test. Yeah. All right, well, we've got our results coming up very, very shortly, but right now, Merrin, thank you so much and thank you for all your thank beautiful you the staff. Yeah. You've just been amazingly yeah. supportive Special and wonderful. They, they really are. So it's back to you in the studio for now, Carl. Thank you, ladies, uh, and well done to you, and hopefully anyone out there who is watching who has uh, given it some thought and been worried about it, hopefully that's the encouragement that, uh, that you need to get out there and get that check done. Well done, ladies. Well, after